Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Seed Story Cup number three. And now I have another co-commentator here. It is Ignite from Portugal. Hey man, how's it going? Hey man, how's it going? Very cool here. And we are about to cast the game between Number Guy and Forzen. So Forzen boys in the chat, turn crazy! And as we are just waiting here for the players to get ready, we also know what they are about to play. So Number Guy brings a Druid, a Mage and a Warlock to the table. And Forzen comes up with a Warrior, a Hunter and a Druid. So who do you think, just from the lineup, who do you think has the edge here in the matchup? Well, it's, it's easy to say which Druid it is, which Warrior it is and so on. Warlock could be Demon or Handlock, but they're both pretty similar matchups. Uh, what, it, what ends up actually being very relevant is which mage is number, by, number guy bringing. So depending on that, he might have, have the, the advantage in my opinion. Otherwise, I think he has a warrior pretty locked down with both his warlock and druid. Yeah, we already talked about it before. Mm -hmm. If number guy here brings the freeze mage to the table, he's going to be in some trouble. Yeah, freeze mage is pretty bad versus hunter, druid and warrior. Hunter, druid and warrior. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Well, you can win, obviously, against the mm -hmm. hunter and the druid. Against the warrior, I would not, not so even much, say yeah. that <laughs> you can win that match. <laughs> even, even with Thorson, people are saying, like, maybe instead of 5%, you get 15%, but... That's still not enough. Yeah, and it's also going to be interesting to see maybe, even though the Kazans have been falling out of favor a bit, maybe we might see Forzen play one in the Hunter or one in the Druid. Mm -hmm. It's still it's still an option, and then you would just... I think Kazan is most often in Druid. I don't see it as much in the other decks, at least. Yeah, some Hunters did put it in because mm -hmm. every every other class was playing Kazans, and then you it play... It on ladder. You see a lot of Hunter Mage on ladder, so yeah. I guess that's the purpose. But anyway, I expect Forzen here just to bring oh, the face hunter. <laughs> because <laughs> it is it, the strongest hunter. Yeah, right it's, it's working out. Actually, I prefer the mid-range hunter against right Druid, against, against Warrior. There's those matchups that mid-range hunter is always excelled at, whereas face hunter hasn't as much. But face hunter just has... It covers more matchups. And the matchups it covers, it has a higher percentage to win. Yeah, that's right. But in tournaments... So it's more effective. In you only want to win with it. You're not playing last hero standing where yeah, that's right. the Ranch Hunter is a more enduring deck. That is definitely right. So it's just about winning one game here. Yep. And that's the purpose. That's why Face Hunter Could even is see a lot of people bringing like surprise decks. As long as it wins one game, it has its purpose. Have you seen the game before? Xixo brought a uh, Mech Shaman with Fell Reavers. I saw him play that yesterday versus Colento on some online league, I think, NVIDIA yeah, league. Yeah, NVIDIA. Yeah. But that definitely was crazy to watch. Pretty interesting, yeah. Yeah. So I can see from here, I'm just sneaking in a bit. I can see uh, Forzen picking the Paladin, but it's not even in his lineup. I wanted to say <laughs> something smart now. I wanted to say, wow, he's hovering he's over the Paladin, but no, he does not even have a Paladin in the lineup. So... Okay, we were told we can join. I don't even have Forzen in my it's friend. Faramir. Oh, he's playing on Faramir's account. Yeah. So. Protect the one. Nature will rise against you. There we go, jumping into the game. Faramir <laughs> Forzen starts with a nice hand here for the Druid. And it's a mirror match. Number guy also brings the Druid here. And a nice innervate, he also has the coin. I'm guessing uh, number guy might mulligan everything away to hit that growth. Yeah, you have to. But Force and are already really strong. You can start off with... Uh, I guess you, uh, you get a passive turn one, but then you go into Shredder, then Shade. You still have the coin for your, the five drop you're going to draw. Yeah, that's exactly how I would play it out. It would be a mistake to play the innervate first here. Yeah. You can just hold out a turn and you're still going to be ahead. Wow, and he also draws into a Wrath. There is the growth and then there's the shade, but... And number Wait guy has Harrison Jones in his hand. That's not what he wants, but there we go. Definitely. Innervate. That's big. If he draws into a lore on yeah. five. That might be huge. Lore on five is so, so strong. One of the best turns in the yeah. whole game. Anyway, I guess as you predicted, we are just about to see the Innovate now coming out for Forzen and he will just play the Pilotage, rather the value minion. And he drew, it did not draw the, the 5 back, so he's going to have a turn 3 and a turn 4. And if he draws another 5, he's going to have a turn 5 as well. Oh my god, that's a crazy curve here. Yeah. Shade doesn't pose a threat. 
there's nothing to do it against it either. Maybe rats. Yeah, you don't really want to wrath here, do you? I would rather establish a board. You better hope for a one HP minion, I guess, so you can ping it. Yeah. I would have. I would have uh, played. Oh, ooh, that's actually pretty <laughs> funny. <laughs> I don't know if it's big or not, but it's funny. It's definitely it disrupts funny. the whole curve. Yeah, a little bit. And he's doing he's doing uh, Forzen a, a little favor here by attacking into that, I guess, because by taking it out. Forzen was wow! Well, it is, it is fucking guy. up his whole game. He did face tank just now, so he can face tank again in shade on this five. Yeah, but it's so he can curve out. But actually, the mana wave is hurting Forzen more than number guy. It hurts both equally, I'd say. Like, but it there's totally nothing from number guy. Well, but Forzen could have played the shade last turn, but with that, not. Yeah, that's true. But at the same time, there's nothing number guy has to play, so. He doesn't have strong plays either. Yeah, and we also see uh, the Black Knight uh, lining up. back on track now. He keeps the coin because he has Sylvanas and Scenarius, I guess. He might want to coin out the Sylvanas. Yeah, there's no reason here to coin out the Sludge Belcher. Mm. Oh, he's gonna lure. There we go! Up. Inner Raid Law on turn 6, not on turn 5, but here on <laughs> turn 6 we go. Still strong. Number guy has the lead now. Because of that Mana Wraith though, that, that's very true. Yeah, it totally disrupted everything here. But you can still go for a coin into Sylvanas if you want to, and Forzen, <laughs> it doesn't even look like Thorison, he thinks... Oh, Whoa, yeah, he drew Thorison, and going for that is crazy. No questions asked. Thorison OP, I ladies mean, and gentlemen. You obviously expect the, a keeper to be on the, on the other side once the... The Druid has drawn sure. already 11 cards. Yeah, sure. But we do know that there's no keeper, and that would have been pretty big. Yeah, I forgot about that. I was dragged into the action a bit. Imagine you would have stolen the shade. I think you would force both of these, both of the the shade and the Lord to trade into Sylvanas. So that's expensive. Yeah, that exactly. would be very expensive here. You probably can't afford to. But Thorison is a safe play, I would say. And you still can play Sylvanas next turn, maybe in combination with a Wrath. But mm -hmm. Number Guy has to take out that Thorison. Otherwise, the damage it will deal is just too, too good. I guess he trades the Loring that still keeps initiative on board. He's got Lothab and Harrison to follow it up. Interesting thing is, even though Number Guy did draw so many cards, he does not have a single part of the combo. Well, do you want it this early? He hasn't pushed any damage. He's fighting for board control right now. You kind of want the other cards because they're, they're more alive. Well, but you you want to plan on what to do with your shade. So, But he decides to use his well. spells to take out Fortune's creatures here. So he still has his Ancient off lore on the board. Oh, he attacks. He figures it's kind of hard for the Druid to clear both of those, which it is. Well, a swipe would be able to deal with him, but... I actually think Number Guy is pushing for the swipe. Because if you if force him would swipe here, you would not put a, put down any minion. And then Number Guy could put down uh, Lothar with Shade. Or Harrison with Shade. I think that's his line of play. But what does Forzen do this turn? I, I don't suggest to go for Sylvanas here because now yeah. <laughs> Number Guy did draw yeah, yeah. the Keeper of the Grove. And since there's no swipe... You could also go for a full that. board clear, but it feels kind of expensive the using... Double those, yeah, Double Wrath. Mm. That's, that's not really what you want to do. Yeah, for sure. So I expect him just to go for Sludge Belcher and trade the Shade away. I guess the Shade is a bigger threat yeah, than the... Even if you pop Sylvanas and trade the Shades... Like, he doesn't even need the silence anymore. You can just trade the 5 for the 5. But... I do see a Belcher coming down here. Time waits for no one. He has to trade for the Shade, for, for sure. And we are just waiting for him. Takes his time, and there he goes. He plays uh, the expensive Sludge Belcher for 5 mana. Goes for the Wrath. He read for, for one. Yeah, he draws a card and then takes the shade out. Okay. They both draw the same card. <laughs> yeah, force of nature for uh, both players. Combo's building up. I'm guessing Forsen is planning on ping, pinging the lore next turn. It's gonna be a really sub part. He's gonna be using two Wraths pro. Black Knight value crushing the Sludge Belcher. That is huge. The lore is no longer. Would be at a 5-1, it's not a 5-3. Yeah. So the Wrath's not gonna draw. And that's a big point here. 
Lumber guy also still healthy, quite far away from lethal range here, even with the combo, he's on 26 HP. Yeah, there's a swipe, doesn't do much right now. Forzen, on the other hand, if something stays on the board and he draws a Savage Raw next turn, what? it could be lethal if he does not decide to play mm -hmm. Slash Belcher. But yeah, first he needs to board clear here. Or go up to 21 with Black Knight on board. Yeah, cool. first of all, he goes for the Wrath on uh, the Ancient of Lore and then decides to play Slash Belcher. Okay. Maybe? Well, so, nah, if he could hero power, it would be safe to Sylvanas, but he can't. Because combo and Black Knight is 20. Yeah. Who is but, risking? Wow. He goes Who's for risking? Sylvanas. He knows he probably doesn't win if he goes on a defensive. Yeah. So he needs to take this risk, at least. And number guy just draws into another innervate, so no combo here available for him. Is he gonna silence? I think he could just trade and ping. Yeah, you could just take it, take it out here. I agree to that. Mm. And then play Lothab. I can see that too, sure. You can just ignore the flank. But well, number guy decides to silence Sylvanas here. It goes for the Lothab and now we will see scenarios being played. Mm -hmm. So, the Sylvanas kill Lothar or Black Knight? I would say it kills the Black Knight. We have seen one swipe already. On the off chance that it survives, yeah, it's it's just better. And there we go, Lothar. it's just a big game hunter being drawn here for a number guy, but let's quickly calculate. Um, no, he's far away from dealing lethal damage this turn. So I suggest you trade the minions away, and then you go for... The Shade of Next Ramos and Harrison Jones. Hero ability. Yeah, it's pushing force here though. Yeah, okay, that's an easy trade into Sylvanas. So you just leave the scenarios on the board yeah. for your opponent and you can also play the Shade of Next Ramos. So that is a pretty good play here by number mm -hmm. guy. Just keeping up his board. That scenario only deals with one creature. Yeah, and by doing that, well, the Sludge Belcher though comes in pretty uh, strong. Belcher, Shade and Hero Power. He has to play the Belcher, there's no other way, so you can slam that right now and then think about everything else. And probably you're gonna gonna trade into into Lothab. There we go, and then just swing to the face and hope you survive. <laughs> Actually, he, Forzen is stabilizing a bit. He is stabilizing, but oh there's another force. Wow, the second <laughs> force of nature. So scary. How does this help? Okay, um, he would be. He can deal four face damage. Doesn't help. Yeah. Yeah, he's stabilizing pretty hard because his cards have way more value than. You know, I would go now. all in from this point because you're now getting a bit behind. Mm -hmm. So if I was number guy, I would go for big game hunter, mm -hmm. Harrison Jones, and the hero ability, and just wait. The thing is, if he doesn't clear, he, he subjects himself to also lose his combo. Oh, for right. sure. There's a three minion board. Yeah, sure. There's already one piece. Oh. So. If Force and top decks, he wins the game. That's right. So you have to deal with that. That's no matter annoying. what, because you can only clear the Belcher, I think. No, you could clear with the, the Force. You with can the force. clear scenarios yeah. as well. Okay. There you go. So, there yeah. he goes now. Sure the scenarios. For a low he feels obliged to, and I guess that's correct to stay alive. Yeah. Anyway, now, Far uh, <laughs> I always want to say Faramir because Forzen is playing on Faramir as a can, but now, with the swipe and the Druid of the Claw, he also has some nice options here. He can just uh, swipe yeah. the Harrison Jones and then take out the 2-2... The two -two Keeper of the Grill with, with his shade and have a taunt on the Richard board. Dead, yeah. Big game hunter's already gone. There's just another keeper of the grove and Well Keeper's actually a decent sub like because it stops the combo lethal next turn from forcing. Yeah, but, but it's force it is ahead right now. And he's just gonna have a cycle with the growth. He's far good. ahead because we have seen Ancient of Lore being played already for Number Guy. Mm -hmm. We have seen both Force of Nature's out. Even if he draws into a savage draw now, that's not gonna really yeah, help. Yeah, exactly. Him. The so second combo there is no second combo for number guy, so there's no real way here for Number Guy to close it out, so everything he's doing right now mm -hmm. is There's just no staying alive and waiting until Forzen draws into the combo. 
and with he has some cycle with the wild growth. So like as soon as you draw that keeper, you probably look at the board and think, okay, I'm gonna ping the the shay with the keeper. But I think you might be be thinking about silencing the taunts and pinging the shade instead. Yeah, that's that's something yeah, you have to see. think about. And there you go, silence. Because he's still above 20, 20 HP like this, so combo is still on. You're still not in combo range, and you have something on the board, and the way is is through. You can mm -hmm. go through yeah, exactly. if you the draw through, into yeah. something. You could have played the BGH to be honest, because if any BGHable target comes down, he's losing anyway. So BGH should have come down, I think. But Azure Drake. There we go. There's lethal next turn, yeah. He has the combo now lining up in his hand. He's pretty safe on 11 HP. I don't see a way for number guy to close that out with just mm -hmm. one card draw left and the big game hunter in hand. He draws the yeah. druid of the claw. That's four damage. He can take out a minion. That would make him survive. It would just be 20 damage Survives coming by in. Two or is he trading? No, he's going phase. He's going. Oh, he's going all in now. Yeah. Kind of late to go all in, don't you think? <laughs> yeah. I Not do that think. he has another play though. Well, you can take out the Azure Drake here and survive another turn. Yeah, but playing to survive at yeah. this point, you're not going to win it's, We have seen it for a couple of turns now. It, it was over here and number uh -huh. guy loses here to Forzen and with the combo, he goes up 1-0 in that best of five series. So now Forzen did win with the Druid, so the Druid is now out. We have left a Hunter and a Warrior here for Forzen. Mm -hmm. And Forzen boys, get crazy. Forzen is ahead, ladies and gentlemen. So Forzen got rid of his Druid. Um, what do we have left? Hunter and Warrior versus... Hunter and Warrior, yeah. Druid Warlink Mage. What do you think they pull out next? I've seen players just... If I was, if I was Forzen, I would go with the Hunter now. Because you mm. you do have a decent raid against the druid. Warrior. You don't want to play. You don't want your yeah, warrior to run into the druid again. Yeah. No, but at the same time, there's this logic where if your warrior beats any of these, you kind yeah. of want to bring it out as soon as possible, so he might be able to catch one of them. Rather than imagine you went hunter into mage and the mage beat hunter, yes, you won't sure. be able to catch the mage with a warrior anymore, correct? So you might just go warrior here and just give it up to get some information. That's true. And if he ends up catching the mage, it might actually be beneficial for him. But here okay. we go. Forzen goes for the warrior and he runs into the druid. So that's not really what you want to, to happen. Mm -hmm. And I guess you have to rejoin because of the spectator bug. If you stay in the queue, uh, you can't see number guy's hand. Oh, right. So, so uh, rejoin you, that? Yeah, just rejoin. Oops. Yeah, yeah. Wait a second. Just press escape. Leave. Oh, you gotta leave every time after a game? Yes, you have so to you leave every call. time after a game. Okay. You're not a caster, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, you can see that. Yeah, I struggle with that a lot. I'm struggling those weekly strife wire cups. <laughs> and always, I, I'm the person, I'm so stupid, you know. I'm always staying in the queue and then wondering why you can't see the hand. <laughs> and now I... Is that working? Oh, it's oh there up. it yeah. comes! Now we have number guy's hand oh. as well. Starts out with a shade of next Ramas. We haven't missed too much. There's an armor smith here for Forzen on the board. He goes for the fiery war axe, and he has Isera in his deck. So maybe he switched out Ragnaros or plays both of them. Some people. Well, we just saw Show win the Xfinity Invitational, and his warrior decklist ran both Alexstrasza and Isera and Rag, I think. And Rag, yeah. It's pretty heavy. That's pretty heavy stuff here. So you have to cut some of your early game by by drawing into the axe and into. Into the whirlwind, he also plays the whirlwind, so... There's a lot of stuff here. Yeah, a lot of pressure here. And now goes for the Sludge Belcher on turn 4, has a follow-up with the Harrison Jones, which has got no value here against the Druid. And first of all, Number Guy goes for the Sylvanas. Big clutch versus Warrior every time. Yeah, but on that board, it does not really get too much done. Oh well, yeah, Belcher kind of is annoying, but... Just drops the Harrison. Wow. Well, he has the brawl to back up. If anything crazy happens, there's that brawl. The safety brawl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he chose to attack with weapon now. Because he has a second one. It, he's run, not really face thinking right now. So and might as well get second damage. innervate. We are in turn seven already. We could see 
Ancient of Lore being played here for Number Guy. And I guess that's also the play you want to do. Well, you could think about the swipe. You can go for Lore this turn and next turn, Innervate two fives, which is very strong. That's what I would suggest here. How does swipe help him? Well, you can take out the Harrison Jones. And the Woos after trading in with hero power. Yeah. But then you can't play the flower. The slime. It's not very appealing. Where shall I strike? But your opponent will gain so much armor. Oh. He goes for Druid of the Claw in cat form. Trades into... He wants to preserve Sylvanas HP total. I think he's trading the Shade as well. Into the use so he can trade the Sylvanas into Harrison. And he's stealing the armor smith. Well... If yep. that's what you want, I am not too sure if you really want the armor smith, but there you go. Give him four armor in the process. I don't think this is very. I also don't agree to that play. Like the shade is now executable. Even if it's not axable, it's it is executable. And for example, whirlwind also deals with it, makes it axe in axe range. For example, yeah, you can whirlwind face tank into shield block. And now he's losing a lot here. That was very expensive. And he had the better board and was trading into the lower board and now has mm -hmm. uh, Fortune has the good trades here. Yeah, the lore would have been so good to be honest. Yeah. Even if Sylvanas <laughs> didn't get real value, the, the lore would have been really good. You could have get uh, you could have gotten more value out of Sylvanas than than like that. Oh, uh, you would have caused a, a different kind of pressure on board and forced the warrior to do suboptimal plays. And now also your curve is screwed up. Number guy has to go for uh, the turn eight, Ancient of Lore. He draws double. Well, either way, the Lore just puts him back on track and... Do you no see what's in that hand? He has the, the double combo. Around. He has the crazy combo in the hand. Yep. Two savage on rolls, turn 10, yeah. one, uh, one force of nature, and still the innervate. You know what I want to see? I want to see Thorson being played. In order to play double force into double roar. What about I, that? That's something that should happen because it's <laughs> not too unlikely, but I haven't seen it yet. If Thorson procs on all of those four cards once, what you need two innervate, so that's six card combo. <laughs> but if it procs twice, then yeah. But still, I am pretty sure we're gonna see Trollden, a Trollden video about that. Mm -hmm, eventually. <laughs> On Should the other hand, now Forzen is also still under a lot of pressure here by the Druid. Even though he had that good trade and was able to, to mm -hmm. clear the board. Uh, this matchup is so hard. Yeah. Oh, under the Shredder? Oh. What's this do? So we can kill the use like it was planned? That's unfortunate the... because now uh, that's that's pretty good for a number guy. Because yeah, it clears the board and then yeah. gives him initiative Yeah, easy back. clear. The thing about Forsen's end is he doesn't have another minion to play right now. Only his error and it's only coming up next turn. And he's only hoping that next turn he can play his error safely. Number guy has to draw into a keeper of the grove for that. To deal with Isera. Or to at least silence it and leave a vanilla for What about the double board. combo here? Is it lethal? No, I, I was calculating it. Yeah. It's 24 damage from the combo itself and then you have another... 22. 22. 24. 20 22 on the... 24. You have 14 from the first combo, and then adding up 10 by Savage Raw. No, adding eight. up 8. 22. You're right, 22. So 22 plus those minions with two roars so on top. So that's the reason why Ignite is here. He's the one for <laughs> calculating. <laughs> you got the 24 with those ones, and plus and 4 six, on each of them. 28. 28, 32. Because they each get 4 plus from two roars. Yeah, from two roars, right. So that would be 32 damage, and the Warriors are 37 right now. Hmm, you pinged for a draw, does he trade with sheep? Well, if you draw into Thorison, you do that. <laughs> but... Other than that, he oh, he's does, does, does he not? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Now Emperor of Thorison. That Thorison. Ouch, it comes down and there's no way here I for Thorison to deal with that. Down. Isn't it? There's no way, another shield maiden. But you go for Isera this turn. Dude, you can double combo without Innervate and Innervate out of Swipe for 12 mana. Okay. Wow, that's, that's just huge. <laughs> that is lethal, I think. Well, Ford, I wouldn't even count it. Forden is still it. on 36 HP, though, and the lower is shutting down Forzen more. 
If it's not lethal this turn, you can just saturate so much. <laughs> it's 35, <laughs> I, actually. You know, I, I just He's saw one damage off lethal, uh, 36. I just saw Number Guy's face. He was calculating it as well, because the players are sitting there, and he was calculating like... Mm. He was sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that was the moment one where damage. he realized... Yeah. Fuck! One damage short. <laughs> <laughs> one damage off lethal versus Forsen. Yes, but Thorison is doing some great work here. Now a four mana force of nature, two one mana savage roars. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, if he gets the second force, he can go for twelve mana two combos. But if if Force now had uh, the Isara Awakens here, that would have been still pretty cool, but he does not. It would have been very good, yes. Even if, uh, even if Isera is doing a bad job today. <laughs> not doing what she's supposed to do. Thorson lives another turn. And if he draws into... Yeah, that should be lethal, right? I, we don't even mm. have to calculate that. 10 damage on the board and you have a double combo in hand with a swipe innervate. Right. And you can take out the slime if you want to. Uh -huh. With And he says, my greetings. <laughs> Such BM here against Force. There we go. Force of nature being played. The Six first mana double combo, really? <laughs> <laughs> the first savage roll comes out. Face palm, ladies and gentlemen. There we go, Rock, and that's... Wow. Two mana swipe as well. Oh my god. Two mana This is swipe. so much power. <laughs> and he oh. draws the second in her, mate. <laughs> oh. And he's <laughs> laughing. He's <laughs> sitting in his chair and he's laughing. He's very happy how that went out, ladies and gentlemen. And what a crazy game. And that means the equalizer between mm -hmm. Number Guy here and Faramir. Uh, Faramir. <laughs> and Forzen. <laughs> Forzen. God damn it. So God damn it, Forza they're both tied at 1-1 one, one right now. And there's still Mage and Warlock on Number Guy's side, and Warrior and Hunter on Forza's side. Warrior and Hunter going up against the Mage and Warlock. Yeah, I don't even spectate, that's, that's <laughs> your job. <laughs> uh, Cooking popcorn. <laughs> how crazy is that? How crazy that game is that was double combo. But here we go with the third game of the series. And we see Hunter now. Explosive Trap kind of indicates face Hunter. Yeah, as as Abusive as Sergeant as, well as, as well. Yes. So uh, you made the mistake again, I guess. Or uh, did you rejoin? Or no, did I did you rejoin, rejoin for both. Yeah, but maybe if you do it too early as well, then you can just see. Well, we will wait for a second, or shall we just rejoin now? I'll rejoin, I suppose. Okay, let's let's do it now. It you have to. You can't rejoin both. You just have to rejoin Faramir and then wait. Just wait. Yeah, I rejoined the second one too fast, I guess. Yeah, that's. that's okay. I also do. Still that. learning, still learning. So, two games, trial period. Yeah. And I'll get it right next At time. least your trip from Portugal was not for nothing. <laughs> 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 Always learning, bro. So, Creeper comes out, we haven't missed much. And did he keep both companions? I th think he did. Yes, he did. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, but with the coin. Turn two companion, turn three companion, double but he, huffer. He didn't have a guaranteed turn one other than It's Forzen, it's always huffer. So But think about this. He had two companions and an abusive. He chose to kept all of those three. Yeah. And he spent the coin on the creeper instead of playing abusive turn one, right outright. Yes. So he could coin into companion and then companion turn three. Yeah, he could not now do he's that. Stuck I don't with know both why companions he did that. and companion's pretty <laughs> bad versus Mac Mage, I'd say. It's, it's Pretty bad versus Mac Mage. Yeah, when you're it depends on what center. you get, but look at that number guy is playing two water elements. Mish is gonna be your best, and I don't know. Having more one drops and, and stuff is gonna be more beneficial overall. Yeah, I don't know what is enforcing the stack. Maybe we should expect something crazy, but it's a face hunter. Number so guy's laughing. You know, you went face, it's a snake trap. You can just avoid it unless there was a Misha, which there isn't. Number guy is so sweet. Always laughing. Guys. He's always <laughs> like, ah, I got you, bro. No, that Huffer can just get pinged. Oh, there's a Blast Mage. Such Ooh. easy game in there. Blast Mage coming down, hitting both minions, hitting twice to the face. And yeah, I feel like this game is over already. Yeah, it's looking very good here. Is there For a Misha number now? guy. He needs Misha. Does Misha, Misha, Misha. There we go. Oh, it's a Leon. That's yeah. also pretty decent. Helps him clear, but still not going to force the snake trap. No. No, no, no. But uh, look at Number Guy's hand. He's also. The well, water one's a little low thab. That's not yeah. too scary, I would say. I Do we have another spectator bug? Yeah, Number Guy bugs. was supposed to draw a card here. We didn't see it. We Should I rejoin that. again? Oh god damn you blizzard! <laughs> okay, let's quickly rejoin. Let's hurry up. We Should have seen the knife juggler being played. 
Oh god, ladies and gentlemen, the tension is real. Don't draw, uh, don't join too mm -hmm. early. Don't draw too early, not like a cheater. <laughs> uh, there we go, I guess now you can rejoin. And we will see number he guys. Drew Dr. Ooh, Boom. Dr. GG! He's got so many follow ups. He had the 5, he has a 4 plus 0 power, he has the 7. I would go for, for the knife. Juggler here to establish no, there's the answer here. Oh, yeah, I He's forgot about the secret because of rejoining. Uh, water elemental now coming down. The Leox going to live forever, but 5 a turn is not really. Number guy yeah, doesn't yeah, really right. care about that Leox. Yeah. And that's so unfortunate. Double Glaive Zuka in mm. your hand going up against a Water Elemental. Yeah, and he's going to have to kill Command something here to stay alive. Number Guy is still on 22 HP. You can't really do a lot here. You can't deal 10 damage this turn. Yeah, 12. Kill Command Hero Power. Yeah, with Hero Power, you, if you... And then your hand isn't really vital to in damage-wise because the Water Elemental just putting a stop to the weapons. He got no chargers. So I guess you attack here with your weapon, then maybe play the Glaive Zuka. I guess you just concede, actually. <laughs> <laughs> there's no way that's to win not, this That's game. not how you play it out on, on the Seed <laughs> Story Cup. Are you playing All right, yourself? Fine. You're playing yourself, yeah, right? Yeah, I am. I play tomorrow. Who's group in your e. group? Hamas, Gar, and Saish. That's Amaz pretty easy. Fine. It's going to be pretty easy. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be easy. It's Ignite, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> he's going to he's gonna whoop that shit. <laughs> So you have to kill command that Lotha. He knows it's a lot of damage and yeah. Yeah, but those two weapons are dead. 100%. The Loth the Doctor Boom comes down, and since kill command just got spent, he knows there's not going to be two kill commands to finish out the game. Yeah, but now prepare for Doctor Boom being played, and that's a lot of damage and a, a, another threat here for mm. Number Guy on the board. Can Golem comes down? That's five. Can buff with Zuka six. No, Doctor Boom won't die, so that's kind of lethal. Kind of, but it's good enough. Kind of. Uh, like unfortunately, you, don't, you well. don't want to play a minion against the secret because it will just make that you're further behind. He has to. Doesn't he? And yeah. He just does it. He has to. The knife juggler coming down. Force goes for the Arcane Golem here. I wonder how I lost this game. <laughs> he juggles to the face yeah, at he least. He has 9 damage, that's 5 short. And there's not much else he can do. He yeah, can clear that the... Means lethal on the board, represented yeah. here for a number guy. Oh. Not with the juggler, yes, it's lethal for sure. Yeah, you could take, Three, six, seven, you could eight. take that out. Oh yeah, there's 8 on board. Eight. If you trade the boom. Yeah, if you trade. But still... Is there 8 on board. There's two weapons, so not, there's not one card that's gonna deal 10 damage to the mage, so... You could, the try, you could try to ping the... The Boombot. Oh no, you don't want to attack into the... Yeah, you could ping the Boombot. Get a 50-50 and then a... Get a 50-50 and, and then another 50-50 because you need 3 or 4 to win. But first of all, you also have the juggles. You have 3 yep. juggles. How is he going for it first? So, there we go. Oh, oh unfortunately, hitting for 4 but not <laughs> to the face. And yeah, but it's still lethal, right? You can't play yeah. three minions. Not even Leroy, which would be the maximum damage output. Like Le Leroy, abusive and hero. No, it's power lethal this turn. I mean, it, it isn't. Have yeah, with seven mana, you oh can wait, you could have played three, three minions. Five. Yeah, he could have. You're very right about yeah, that. Yeah, number guy. <laughs> he missed what lethal. Is wrong? <laughs> he missed lethal there, but one in the end. Maybe he wasn't bit playing three minions, three juggles. It's yeah, exactly. Three damage. You're, you're entirely right. Number guy. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to you about that after lesson, the yeah. game. <laughs> Everybody is here to take some lessons. <laughs> <laughs> but you learn quick. You, uh, I always thanks, man, still thanks. do the mistake, but you just left the game. Yeah, I'm that's, waiting for it. It's so great. I'm trying to look out for the viewers, you know. You're doing a better <laughs> job than me. Now I'm pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, don't be like that. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> We are having great fun here, and we are jumping into the game next four. game. Forsen still has Hunter and Warrior, but Number Guy only has Warlock left. It doesn't even so matter, because be we Warlock. see Warlock uh, against Hunter. Gonna join the Warlock side. And what Warlock is it? That's gonna be interesting. It's already bugging? Don't tell me that. Yeah, just wait uh, a second. Might come to us. There we go. We're back, we're back. There's Twilight, a turn one leper. Twilight Drake, so it might be Strife Crow's version of the of the demon. It can lock. be handlock or demon lock at this point. Yes. There's some not enough information. 
But it's no demon lock without oh, wow. Twilight Drakes. Okay, does it run combo maybe? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Every <laughs> control lock runs a Twilight Drake, so... There's a follow-up plan. Leper into Coil, it feels so bad when it... When that happens, like... Yes, it's just You perfect. wanna rush and they just put a stop to it on turn one? <laughs> exactly, you're describing. Are you playing a lot of Face Hunter? Am I am. <laughs> I played more than 120 games of Face Hunter on the last day of ladder. 120 games of Face Hunter. So you don't even have a Golden Hunter like Force. No, I just I want do, to I mention do. that he has a Golden Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drunk on, on Hunter too much. Yeah, a number guy on the other hand has a Golden Walk. Maybe a lot of Zoo being played here. Or Control decks. Hmm. What is that? There's a Leroy. So he's playing the old Handlock. But he's relying on Thorson, so he can enable the Leroy Overwhelming Faceless combo. Yes, and uh, that's something I, I tried it a few days ago. Like I love it? this, I love this list. Doesn't work out, but it, it's so dependent on the Thorson. Yeah, exactly. Um, if you did yesterday, we discussed it with someone else. I don't remember who, but uh, it's entirely true that if you don't draw Thorson within the first side, of, I don't know, 25 cards maybe, and if he's in the last five, then yeah. the combo is useless. So you're better off using Arcane Golem, sort of. On the other hand, it's just so much fun. It's Leroy, you know? It's Leroy. <laughs> it's Leroy Jenkins. Can you do that? And otherwise, Leroy can... What? Can you what do, you do that? That Leroy Jenkins intro. Uh, uh, I'm yeah. not admirable yet. Oh, okay. I, I gotta get there. <laughs> okay, you, you just uh, play your games, then drink some beer, and you will come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Leroy also works out with Shadow Flame. And I, I like the... If you opted to run two Shadow Flames, I would really like that. So you can complement the Leroy if you're not going to yeah, combo Yeah, turn nine. Nice, nice clear. Totally, uh, but it, I, I thought about it too. I didn't have the time to try it out, but I thought it was just so dependent on the yeah, person as we discussed. Fits to the bottom of the deck. Or anyway, deck number guy is down already to 13 HP, but we do have 11, uh. the Molten Giant now down mm -hmm. to 11. We do have a Molten Giant. We do have the Sludge Belcher as a taunt. We no do have. There are no actually. But there is a Belcher and a Hewbot. The Belcher bot. and the Hewbot, that's the most important card. Wait, wait, he wait. even feels lucky. Wow. He goes for the Mountain Giant. Whoa. If we see another kill command now, this is lethal. Oh. Arcane Golem, is this it? Nine. Oh. Oh. <laughs> One, One damage, damage of off. lethal. Yeah, but if he goes for it, he forces the heal bot, so the yes. board is going to be open still. And an open board, he could then deal Unleash damage commands. with Unleash next turn, or yeah. maybe he... Wow. He draws a second command with Unleash, that's a big combo. That was so crazy. Um. Why don't you go for the Belcher there? Yeah, I think that's the safest. And then you can just Molten and Healbot next turn. Yeah, that's the thing. Go for a free Molten, Healbot, or okay. maybe... He kept a Kill Command. He still kind of forces the Healbot, because not efficient Kill like. Command is enough. I, so would, I would go for the Kill Command. Oh, the top deck. This allows him to Healbot, Molten, and Sun Fury. But he has to be careful not to play the Healbot first. He was hovering over that card. First There's of all, explosive. he attacks into that explosive trap. That's something else. Why I would have played the kill command last turn. How so? He should have played the kill command last turn because... Not if it's not lethal. Well, because but it's putting on more pressure and your opponent can't just run into your explosive trap. Would have been to 1 HP, yeah. You, you, would, have, you would need to run into explosive after heal body. Yeah, but anyway, like that, with that huge turn with a Molten Giant and the Sun Fury Protector taunting it all up and with the heal bot now being mm. played. There's no silence for these towns. It's going to be pretty rough. How does he handle this? Just Zero power like that. Again. He's just gonna handle this like the yeah. face hunter always handles it, trying to go to the face. If they're taunt, just go on the taunt. <laughs> <laughs> That's as easy as that, ladies, he's ladies going, and gentlemen. He's clearing the board over two turns to get through. And he still has the kill command in his hand, so there's some more damage for him here available. And Is number guy. Wait, he has lethal, doesn't he? Leroy Overwhelm? And Dark Bob, me even? Yeah, yep. that's, that's the series lethal. like that. Oh, are we gonna see Leroy Jenkins? Then I will do the intro, but he, no, he he's, keeps he's it, he keeps keep it, it. revealed. That's smart as well. Yeah. I like that, that choice from Number Guy. Number Guy, very well played here. That's a 3-1 victory Even here. though he missed lethal, he won the series. Yeah, he missed <laughs> lethal. Well, come on, but missing that kidding. lethal <laughs> once, it didn't really matter at that point. Number Guy. It was a very good series, actually. Very interesting. Yeah, very I interesting. I like watching Handlock with Leroy. I'm not sure if it's optimal, but I like watching him. And he keeps that a secret. He yeah. keeps that a secret. Very smart here. And uh, I assume we are about to go into a short break, and then mm -hmm. we will be back with the next game. Which with the winner match of that group, and that's yeah. going to be Number Guy 
going up against, uh, quickly have to think about it, against not against Xixo. Xixo against Number Guy will be no. right back here on this stream. It's the winner match, and for now, thank you, Ignite. It was thank a pleasure. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure and to cast with you. And hopefully, I'll stream something. I'll cast something else. I hope so. Day. Bring bring yeah. some beer with you. <laughs> <laughs> sure will. Okay. I'm just kidding, but thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching, and see you after.